Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video and today we have a new kind of video that's going to be completely different from the past couple days and the stuff we've been doing and all that stuff. Today we are going to be taking a look at the footies predictions that I have personally made by myself. All these graphics have been made by myself, footies winner edition. So these are going to be uh, the guys that I think are going to win footies, not the guys that are going to be nominated because we don't know the nominations. Um, but I kind of have sort of an idea of what each guy could be nominated as and if these guys are nominated, I've said nominated a bunch of times uh, then they're definitely going to win we have some of our favorite cards of course as you guys see in the title and in the thumbnail from FIFA 18 and yeah man these cards are gonna be great and so much fun to use footies is officially released this Wednesday which is the 18th so I am really hyped for that it's not released but um, the nominees are released so like it's gonna be like the voting for a week and then we are gonna get the card so it's gonna be very cool and all that stuff and yeah let's get into it so I'm gonna move over here we're gonna have the cards pop up right here to start off our first First player is going to be Meunier from PSG. Of course, he had a great World Cup with Belgium. Unfortunately, Belgium did lose against Brazil, or not, wait, they beat Brazil, sorry. And then they lost against France. And in that game, he didn't play, and you could definitely tell his presence was kind of missed. But a great card, 87 rated, center mid. I have position changed him. Some of these cards are position changed, some of them are not. Um, but I feel like a position change. A position change Munir at center mid was one that many people want because he's part of the whole club and all that and he would be a great great asset uh, in midfield. Next up another player that we do have is one of the favorites from not only the World Cup but also one of the favorites from FIFA 18. We have Irving Lozano who is a PSV player currently and a Mexican player. Uh, he had a great World Cup. Pretty deep, not, not, I wouldn't say great or excellent. I would say he had a pretty solid World Cup um, especially in the group stage but I have him as an 87 -rate striker uh, footies winner now I have position changed him as well because all of his cards are right wing and left wing and you kind of need to use the areas I believe or like Hernandez to get him into onto full camp but if you use Lozano at striker then it's a bit easier to get everyone else on full camp so Lozano's striker card would be very very nice and cool and I would write I, I would actually really really like to see this card all right next up we are going to go into the defenders we have not the defenders but one of our defenders we have 88 rated right Right back Hector Bellerin, one of probably actually the fastest right back in the whole game. 88 rated with those kind of stats would be ridiculous. I remember his um, SPC, his fitness SPC from last year, which I did for I think it was like 80k or something, was fantastic and I love that card. And if this card gets released, it would probably be my go-to right back from the Prem. But of course, a very, very good card and I think if he gets nominated for one of the pace categories, he's definitely going to win. Next level player we're going to get is one of the guys that didn't do too hot in the World Cup but had a decent si uh, decent season for City. Um, but yeah, he's overall a great player with a lot of flair. Didn't get that many special cards even though he did have a path to glory this year. Um, we have 88 rated striker Gabriel Jesus whose card looks like it's going to be crazy good if it does if it's like that those stats or that rating it's gonna be ridiculous but overall a fantastic card four star four star uh, he used to have five star skills but he we all know how overused and how good he was in the beginning of the game now many people don't use him but I think he's still a great card and hopefully in FIFA 19 he's around the same rating as he was this year so I get a chance to use him in the beginning of the game and hopefully he's as good because I I used to love this card Next up, we have some these next co these couple these next ones are gonna be are be, gonna be kind of like the annoying ones from Foot Champs that kind of ruin your day, kind of how they ruin my day sometimes. So we have a goalkeeper. We have the German goalkeeper who, if you didn't have enough money for Neuer, you would go. Which is 87 rated goalkeeper Ralph Fairman, whose card was insane in the actual game, the 84 rated card. It was, in my opinion, the best goalkeeper in FIFA 18. And this card would be broken. It would be like Butlin last year. But yeah, this farming card would be crazy good. And I really do hope he is put into the game because he was very, very overused. Now, speaking of over, over, overused, if Farman is overused, then Bakayoko is on another level. We have 86 rated C in Bakayoko, who I have no doubt in my mind he will go ahead and get into this footies thing, and he will definitely go ahead and win his category no matter what. Uh, but yeah, he was he's he's still used to this day. I have over probably 1,500 games with him over the year, and he is a great card. I love this card. Uh, he was so, so good for me, and except his shooting, which I have boosted a bunch, uh, his regular card has awful shooting, which is what kind of kind of made me angry sometimes in foot champs because he would miss sitters um 
I, I think they're gonna give him a big boost, so he's definitely usable in all areas of the midfield. But yeah, Bakayoko, gonna be a Fuddy's winner no matter what, in my opinion. Another card which has been used a lot over the past two years, and he was nominated for footies last year as well because he had 82 pace, um, but this year his pace has been downgraded a bit, and but he's a higher rating than his counterpart, which was Chris Smalling last year. This year we have 86 rated center back Eric Bai, whose regular card is 84 rated, was very overused in the beginning of the year, and in my opinion was a fantastic center back in the beginning stages of the game. Now, this card I think will be nominated. He hasn't gotten a special card, and if he does uh, get this footies card then i think many people will go ahead and use him in their prem teams and yeah man he's gonna he, he has basically icon stats so i i can't see why he wouldn't get chosen by the community now second to last we have probably the best left back in the game his gold card is incredible and this card just was used by pros throughout the whole year and competitive fifa players especially in foot champs you, you saw this card used a bunch um at the left back spot especially in the 4-3-2-1 with an icon at left center rated and an icon at left center back we have alex Sandro, who would get upgraded to a 90 rated life left back from a 86 rated i believe it was past or inform or something like that um so yeah great card and or i think it's 87 i'm pretty sure it's 87 um but yeah, this card would be great. Brazilian, easy to link Juventus now. Imagine if we get when we get that transfer, Cristiano Ronaldo, get that strong link with the Alexandro would be a great, great, great link up. And this card, I don't think there's going to be a better left back in the game. Even Jordi Alba wouldn't beat him just because Alexandro has that height. And then last but not least, we have the LA boy, especially as we see in his picture. That 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 looks that's a dope picture. I love that picture. When I found that picture, I was like, okay, I definitely have to use this. I love this card. His fitness card was incredible. His inform was incredible. And I remember when this card came out in the beginning, I thought people were gonna sleep on him, but it turned out that we saw him in every single 4-3-2-1 team with Mbappe Martial, Pogba, and all those guys. We have Romain Alessandro, who would get upgraded to an 87 rated but would get position changed to a striker from the right wing slash right mid. He has two informs, I believe he has an 80, 82 and an 84, so I would upgrade him to an 87, and I think people would vote for him regardless because he would be an amazing, amazing striker, especially with those new French cards that just came out yesterday. Man, getting some link-ups with Alessandrini, Usman, Usman Dembele, and then maybe another left winger, I don't know, uh, like a Matt Martial who could potentially be in this footies one, that would be very fun as well. And then last one, I, I thought Lyles and Trini was going to be the last one, but I just thought to myself, you know what, he probably should be in here, I, I don't know why I didn't, I don't have a graphic for him yet, so I don't know what rating he's going to be, but you guys will already see it right here. We have Anthony Martial, who I think personally, he's, his normal card is 83, so I would probably boost him to an 86, uh, so I would say 86 rated, and I would change him to a striker, so striker Anthony Martial would be great, we had one last year and he was very good, uh, so if we get an upgraded Martial, that would be a very good card, as we all know how good he is in the beginning of of the games he was very good last year and he was very good this year um i just love the card and a pink martial i don't think the community could outvote him so i hope it's not like martial and alessandrini in the same vote or like martial martial and lozano because then people would have to uh, would have to choose in between the two so yeah guys this will be the end of the video hope you guys did enjoy the like comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already these have been my footage predictions let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below and let me know what other players you think could be included and nominated uh in this footy selection of course if you guys don't know what footy is we get to choose uh like we don't get to choose players but they give us a selection of nominees we get to vote for the players and then we get some in spcs we get some in packs last year we got them from spcs and you got to do some spcs and all that stuff i did a bunch of uh cheaper solutions for that and all that stuff and the cards were very very good like Ahmed Musa I remember pink card was insane so was Jack Bowen so was Chris Smalling and FIFA 17 was just overall fun at the end of the year you know so hopefully footies can bring some life back into this game get some people playing and get some more people interested in this game once again so thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you guys in the next video have a nice day